Hi everyone, welcome to Hurrero Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Hulk Builder figure from the Thor Ragnarok movie. Now, where uh, this figure is actually about the same height as this guy. This was the Age of Ultron Hulk over here. So these guys have different facial expressions and, as you can see, very different builds. But they are about the same height. And then here they are next to Thor. I actually do think it is a very nice height. Both of these hulks stand about 8 inches to their heads, but then this guy obviously has the helmet on. He stands about 9 inches to the top of that crest on the helmet. And taking Thor away here, as you can see, this Hulk now kind of looks a little weedy next to this guy. The shoulders, I definitely think, are a big, big improvement. They are much more round, and just the way that the articulation is in that joint there, it looks a lot better than this thing, which just cut out of the shoulder. And I really don't know what the hell they were going for there, but it looks pretty ugly. You obviously got all this gap in here at the joint at the top of the arm as well, which is not here over here. They've done a much, much better job. Also, the articulation on this guy, if I get him perfectly straight, uh, there's one point where he will stay and then everywhere else he just wants to sit either left or right and just locks either side. Also on the older Hulk, uh, the torso just looks very smooth in comparison to the rest of the figure. It doesn't really look like it matches at any point. And the colouring was ever so slightly off as well, so they've solved all of those problems with this new figure. So as you can see, it's definitely a major improvement over the last movie Hulk that we got. Uh, you can obviously remove this helmet, which by the way, there is how it looks all the way around. The uh, the paint on this thing is definitely awesome. I love how it grades out to the, uh, the black at the ends there, and you've still got the war paint on there. Very, very nice indeed. Even the inside of it is actually detailed. Now, it's better to do when you put them together, I guess, but you can just pull the joint apart. Uh, you can actually remove this piece if you want, this kind of skirt piece. And then obviously you can just reveal the kind of brown trunks that he's got on underneath there. Definitely do like how the uh, the armor plating or the leather or whatever it is hangs down here. Looks very, very nice indeed. I do love how they've integrated the purple into the design. So he's got a kind of classic Hulk color scheme going on. I definitely do dig that. He does actually have hair on the chest. So that definitely is reminiscent of like Toy Biz days, which is pretty sweet. Then we have these massive weapons over here, so we got this kind of engine block looking thing, and then this big axe. Uh, honestly, Ares from the same wave, because the uh, the grips on those weapons are pretty big, you could probably have him holding those. Now, with these, they are extremely tight to get into the hands, it's a very, very tight fit. I'd definitely say if you want him to hold these things, then go ahead and just put them in the hands once and leave them there. Don't keep taking them in and out, because I don't know if the knurling on them is actually going to damage the hands over time. These armor pieces on the forearms here, and then this section up here, they can actually just be pried off the arm. They can just be pulled off if you want to. These parts down here, though, is actually molded onto the hand. Uh, this piece up here, which looks fantastic and does not hinder any of that arm movement, by the way, is actually just pegged in right there. So as you can see, you can just go ahead and take that off if you wish. But what I really love about this guy, honestly, is those sandals. I mean, I was just moving the uh, the feet just to test out the articulation, and then I noticed that this is loose, and then I just pulled on the back, and you can actually remove the sandals. You can just pull the whole things off, which is absolutely awesome. So you can remove this, this, obviously the helmet, the sandals, this, and this, if you just go ahead and pry them all off. You'd have to probably take the hand off to get these off. So you can remove a lot of the armor on this Hulk, but what that means, the fact that they have uh, just used all of these as overlay pieces as opposed to you know, molding them onto the figure, uh, it does mean that we get better articulation, but when it comes down to things like the feet and stuff, it means that the parts underneath the body parts are actually likely to be reused again. Which means we're probably going to get another Hulk that is the same as this exact body mold, like the base body underneath it all. And I'm definitely up for that. As you saw, it is definitely better than the Hulk figure that came out previously. It's a good build. It's nice and stocky. It's definitely a really, really good figure. So as for the articulation, the head is on a ball joint. You can look left and right, up and down, and pivot side to side. At the shoulders, the arms can come out to the side and then rotate all the way around. It is the same over here, but just go ahead and hold here just so that you don't pop this piece off as you're rotating it around. Uh, and then you obviously get your upper arm rotation there, your single jointed elbow, which obviously would be great if it was a double joint, but you're not really going to get a double with that massive bicep in the way. And then you've got your rotation at the wrist and then a little bit of in and out but not much because of all of that armor now you've got 
two waist pieces here so you've got the torso which just rotates at the bottom there at the waist twist and then you have this ball joint up here so you can uh, get your good crunch going you can get side to side and then left and right movement as well pretty much the same as the older figure but just less jarring and you can actually get precise movements it doesn't just stick in one position the hips move out to the side, they move forward and back rotation at the part of the thigh. We get double jointed knees and then the feet do move down and have ankle pivot. They don't really move up all that much. So overall, I think that this wave is fantastic. I mean, obviously you get the movie figures and then we're getting the Ares again and stuff. Just the wave, honestly, overall was absolutely fantastic. I mean, Goddess of Thunder, that is a really, really cool figure to finally add to the collection. Uh, but this is definitely one of my most wanted types of characters. Obviously, it's the movie version of the kind of gladiator, you know, Planet Hulk. Uh, I do definitely want the older version the actual comic book one, uh, and I'll do a comparison as and when I do a review of that, it's just I've been trying to track down ones with the silver arm as opposed to the green ones, and they're actually harder to come across. But which is the best movie Hulk figure? Definitely this one. Now yes, he does have the war paint on him and everything, so if you don't like this whole look, then obviously maybe it's not for you. But it is a fantastic figure nonetheless. I definitely think that in terms of the accessories that you get and the paint and everything, you know, articulation and size, he is one of the best builder figures to date. And considering he's going to be one of the main characters in Thor Ragnarok, it's a must-have if you have the other movie figures from the wave. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to check out other videos of mine, see what's on the screen right now. And my Instagram and Twitter are in the description below. It's Hermino123 on both. For more Marvel Legends, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.